Welcome all to the analog lecture series. So, so far we understood how to calculate the voltage gain properly and we also saw how to calculate the input resistance. Now, in this question we are going to calculate the value of output resistance. Anyway, I have already told you that whenever you are requested to calculate the value of voltage gain, current gain, input impedance, output impedance, all these things we will be doing in AC analysis only. So, <coughs> for this question you are requested to calculate the value of R0, it means output resistance. So, in order to calculate the output resistance, what we need to do? We have to redraw the AC equivalent circuit of the transistor. Shall we start? Yes. They have given some data in the question if you carefully observe. See that the value of beta equal to 99 and the value of R pi equal to 1 kilo ohm. So far, we were designing the circuit with the help of RE model, but here they have given R pi. But I just I am just asking you before starting the lecture I would like to ask you one question tell me what is the relation between pi model circuit and RE model circuit I have already drawn the pi model and RE model of the transistor circuit do you remember pi model in the sense we will be having a resistor and it will be that is from the base terminal I am starting a resistor after that as usual here also we will be having a current source but here that value is gm into v pi yes this is your collected terminal and this is our emitted terminal whereas the value of v pi that is nothing but voltage drop across the resistor r pi so this is pi model equivalent circuit of the transistor suppose if you are drawing re model for this we know what to do nothing same circuit only but in place of R pi we are going to consider beta times of R e and here it is beta times of I b. This one is going to be your emitted terminal. This one is going to be your collected terminal. Of course, this is our base terminal. Now, it is time to compare both of this. If you observe here in place of R pi we are having beta times of R e. It means I can directly write that beta times of R e is equal to r pi yes similarly in place of gm into v pi here we are having beta times of i b it means in place of gm into v pi i can replace it by beta times of i b okay sir see here it does not matter uh, which way you are trying to solve the question but the thing is here i am just showing you if you are already i have been solved all the questions uh, in terms of re model so what i am suggesting you is if they are giving some other equivalent parameter also convert it into re model why i am asking you to do this in the way you will be remembering all the relations between the equivalent circuits like what is the relation between pi model and re model what is the relation between hybrid model and re model i have given one more circuit also do you remember that is called hybrid model remember that one also such that whenever you are trying to do this kind of conversions, these things will be registered in your mind. Sometimes uh, some kind of direct uh, one more questions will be asked in your examination. That time it will be very easy to give the answer directly. Okay, fine sir. Shall we start? Yes. What is the step number one while doing AC analysis? First thing is we have to deactivate all DC sources. If you observe here we are having one DC source here. Yes, that will be short circuited. Next thing. Let us try to draw the AC equivalent circuit and one more thing we are measuring the output resistor across the emitted terminal see there it is clearly highlighted already we were requested to we were requested to calculate the output resistance from emitted terminal shall we start yes let me explain so the first thing is start from AC source yes sir it is connected to the ground then I am directly going to Yes, this AC source will be connected with the base terminal of the transistor. Now, you know how to replace the transistor by its equivalent circuit. Collected terminal, base terminal, emitted terminal. Just to replace this transistor by its equivalent circuit. Base terminal will be replaced by beta times of RE. Whereas, in the emitted terminal, I am not going to do anything. I am just leaving as it is. In collected terminal we have to collect current sorry we have to connect one current source that value is beta times of i b after that now you can check the other parameter so this is the base terminal this is collected terminal this is emitted terminal 
check with the collector terminal what we have nothing sir it is simply short circuited so you can just extend this line and connect it with the ground similarly if you observe the emitter terminal it is connected with the 1 kilo ohm resistor so we have to extend this line connected with the 1 kilo ohm resistor now from where we are going to observe the uh, output resistor output resistor we are going to measure across the so from here only we have to explore the value of output resistor this is given as 1 kilo ohm ok fine sir sir how can I explore the output resistor from here it is better let me extend this line also because resistor we have to measure between two terminals right now can I say directly output resistor equal to 1 kilo ohm sir no no sir how can we say like that it is not it is not correct right see let me recapture everything when we were trying to calculate the value of voltage gain voltage gain means AV we were trying to bring the relation between output voltage and the input voltage when I was trying to calculate the value of input resistance I have been tried to bring the relation between input voltage and the input current now in the same way when I am trying to calculate the value of output resistance we must bring the relation between output voltage and the output current ok sir these things we know and the next thing is while calculating the value of input resistance if you observe the circuit carefully always in our transistor we will be having dependent source dependent source means what it is represented by a rhombus symbol or diamond symbol see there this dependent source will always be exist in our transistor circuit so whenever we are having a dependent source while calculating the value of equivalent impedance it does not matter whether it is from input side or it is from output side while calculating equivalent impedance what I have been told you we have to deactivate all the given sources the <coughs> all the given uh, dependent uh, sorry independent sources I am just asking you to apply Thevenin serum according to Thevenin serum whenever we are trying to calculate the Thevenin impedance from anywhere it does not matter uh, it may be from input side or it may be from output side or it may be from somewhere so while calculating the impedance it is very important to apply the Thevenin serum according to Thevenin serum all independent sources need to be deactivated then since we are having dependent source in the circuit so you have to connect one external voltage source with some current source after that bring the relation between voltage and current now always while calculating the input impedance we are having already this entire circuit was excited by the input voltage and it is also supplying the value of input current it means already we have connected voltage and current externally directly we are bringing the relation between this voltage and current in order to calculate the input resistance I am repeating dependent source is there for that to calculate the overall impedance we have to connect one voltage source it is already connected always it will be connected when we are calculating the value of input impedance but while calculating the output impedance this is not the case so to calculate the output impedance we have to connect the external voltage source as usual the procedure will be remain same input means input source voltage al always will be there now tell me in the output port also do we have voltage source no sir usually in the output port we will not have any voltage source so the conclusion is whenever you are requested to calculate the value of output impedance we must connect one external voltage source across the output terminal they will be giving you at which port they are measuring the output voltage so directly go to that uh, terminal connect one external voltage source just apply Thevenin serum according to Thevenin serum the connected voltage is VDC and the current supplied by the voltage source is IDC so from this we must bring the relation between output voltage and output current that is going to be your output resistor but remember one thing when the moment you are connecting the external uh, voltage source across the uh, impedance measurement point here only I am going to measure the impedance or output resistance so there while connecting the external voltage source we have to deactivate all other independent sources if you observe from the input port we are having one independent source so this will be need to be deactivated deactivated in the sense that is since since it is a voltage source voltage source will be deactivated by short circuit so voltage source is deactivated now it's time to explore the circuit nothing is there 
we have to bring the relation between VDC and IDC select the near node yes from that near node you can apply a nodal analysis you will be getting the answer it will be over there, is, there are no more things to discuss right uh, I think uh, here I left one resistor see there base resistance is given as 1 kilo ohm now only I am recollecting it forgive me just to connect that resistor here they have given one more resistor here that is 1 kilo ohm ok what is the value of beta into re do you remember beta into re equal to 1 kilo ohm only sir how I told you beta into re and r pi both are same since r pi is given as 1 kilo ohm so you can replace the beta re by its equivalent value that is also going to be 1 kilo ohm and uh, the current that is coming in this branch is base current here we will be collecting collector current or beta times of ib whatever now it is time to apply nodal at this junction here if you carefully observe after connecting the source voltage vdc same voltage will be appearing across this 1 kilo ohm resistor also yes sir now just apply nodal at this point here i am going to apply nodal according to nodal selected node is going to be superior node and that will going to deliver the current for the entire circuit carefully observe at the node point we are having voltage vdc see there this voltage positive plate will be directly reflecting at this node yes negative plate is directly reflecting here so this will be zero so zero mean that voltage will be zero positive plate across the positive plate we have this vdc now how many branches are there totally we have four branches add these two resistors 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm totally will give you 2 kilo ohm right now i am drawing its equivalent circuit for your better understanding see there we are having a 2 kilo ohm resistor and uh, in the 2 kilo ohm resistor see let me draw it in the alternative way uh, such that you will get the complete idea i am drawing the resistor in this fashion this is 2 kilo ohm resistor and the base current is going in this direction right current entering point plus leaving point is minus base current is ib then this terminal is connected with the where see there i am just redrawing this circuit this terminal is connected with the emitter terminal so directly i am connecting emitter there we are having one more resistor that resistor value is 1 kilo ohm actually at this point we have a voltage source vdc plus or minus vdc will be get dropped here after that here we have been connected one more voltage source that is vdc only actually we are trying to measure the voltage only at this point vdc and current supplied by this branch is idc after that this node will get connected to one more person that is beta times of ib spend some time and understand whether the circuit drawn by me is correct or not nothing i did just i have redrawn the circuit for your understanding purpose while applying kvl you have to understand it clearly see there it's all represented in the vertical direction i have just flipped them i have just reduced the length of the wire all are connected with the ground only so you can redraw the circuit in this format now it's time to apply nodal if you apply nodal you will be getting the answer is see there from this point you have to focus how many currents are coming here the incoming current is beta times of ib yes sir whereas here through this branch the current is current can be written as vdc by 1 kilo ohm can i write like this i know the voltage drop so we know the value of resistor also current will be 1 kilo ohm and remember one more thing same vdc will be dropped here also because all are connected in parallel so if you find the relation here from this i can say the voltage drop across the 2 kilo ohm resistor vdc equal to minus 2 kilo ohm into ib why sir base current ib is coming in the upward direction according to the direction of the current we have to mark the polarity across the resistor according to the voltage source i am marking the polarity here both are opposite to each other so that's why i am keeping plus or minus opposite means it will be like this just to keep this relation now it's time to apply uh, kcl according to krichov current law you can see you can combine these two nodes together this node and this node this node both are same only right so <coughs> outgoing currents are idc according to the uh, see if i am selecting this node incoming current is idc is coming inside towards that junction beta times of ib also coming to this junction whereas vdc by 1 kilo ohm is going out of the junction and uh, ib ib also coming towards the junction only ib coming towards the junction you have to write in this way 
all incoming current equal to outgoing current only one current is going out by outside now you can simply replace it uh, ib can be replaced by minus vdc by 1k minus vdc by 1k plus idc plus beta times of minus vdc by 1k equal to vdc by 1k that's all operation is over now it's time to reduce the entire circuit the value of beta is already given i think it is 99 yes or no go back to the circuit beta value is already given that is 99 so 99 times of vdc see 99 times of minus vdc by 1k minus uh, vdc by 1k <coughs> totally it will become minus 100 times of vdc by 1k so just to pass it to the right hand side it will become what overall idc is equal to already we have vdc by 1k here if i will pass this 100 times of vdc totally it will become 101 times of vdc by 1k so approximately finally i can say the value of output resistance equal to vdc divided by idc that will be equal to 1k by 101 yes or no yes you can simply substitute all other parameters so this will become simply 1k means 1000 by approximately 101 this is going to be your output resistance i hope you all understood everything uh, i think uh, everything we did are uh, here i did small mistake just correct it see there this is 2k this 2 i left once again okay no problem so it will become 100 times of vdc by 2k then pass it to the uh, right hand side then here it will become just to correct this one second uh, this will become plus 100 times of vdc by 2k plus we are having one more vdc by 1k just to take the lcm it will become 2 in the denominator also it will become 2k then so 102 times of vdc by 2 2k such that it will become 2000 this will become 102 so approximately this will be equal to if i will 102 approximately equal to 100 so i will cancel it it will become 20 ohm that's all so that is how we are calculating the output resistance in this video i have taken a little bit uh, uh, more time so kindly forgive me because then only we can understand these things see this is the standard procedure to calculate the value of output resistance okay that's all so so far we understood how to calculate the input resistance output resistance of course voltage gain also in the same way whatever the procedure that you are applying to calculate the voltage gain in the same way we can also gain uh, calculate the current gain so this is all for this lecture remaining things you will see in the next class thank you all